Welcome. The following video will demonstrate how to pair a 2 gig GC2 glass break sensor to the panel. First, you will want to get into programming. We will do this by pressing the logo in the bottom right hand corner, entering in our installer code, go to system configuration, and from here we're in sensor programming. Now we can see that back door is currently occupying zone one, but if we press the right arrow, we can see that zone two is unoccupied, it has nothing in the white box. If we press the down arrow, we can confirm this, it should say zero, zero unused. In this case, we're going to go ahead and press the right arrow until we see perimeter, press the down arrow. When it asks for the equipment code, we will press the right arrow until we see two gig glass break sensor or detector, press the down arrow. Now it's asking for the serial number. We will press shift and then learn. And we will take the glass break sensor off of its base plate by rotating it counterclockwise. Once we've taken it off the base plate, it will trip in, press okay. We can place the glass break sensor back on its base plate, rotate clockwise to snap it into its place, and then press the down arrow. For the equipment age, we can just press the down arrow. Loop number, always make sure it says one, and then press the down arrow. On the dialer delay, go ahead and press the down arrow. On voice descriptor, to first insert a word, we wanna press insert. And from here, you can scroll right and left to go through the different words. However, uh, it is easier to type in the three digit corresponding number for each word. In this case, I'm going to type in 108 for hallway, and then we'll press insert to insert another word. And then I will type in 104 for glass break. Once I have the word that I want this sensor to be named, I'll press the down arrow. When it asks for reports, make sure it says one and then press the down arrow. Supervise the same thing, press one or make sure it says one and then press the down arrow. On the chime, we don't need a chime on the glass break, so just press the down arrow. We'll then give you a summary of that sensor. Press skip, end, and exit, and the panel will reboot. You can then mount the glass break sensor where you want it mounted in the home. If you ran into any issues along the way, please visit our help center at help.bringshome.com for further assistance.